Hi moms in community. This is Carlin Friel. I'm Sarah's older sister and I have visited your church many times and I wish I could be with you this morning. It would be so nice just to take a vacation, head up to Medway and hang out at your church. Um, I am just making a video to let you know about myself and my family and a place when I felt out of control. My husband is named Rob and I have four children ranging in age from 12 to 5. Their names are Jonah, Evan, Audra, and Zachary. And this story happened um, in early November, actually started in late October 2013. So this is pretty fresh. And it happened to my son, Jonah, who's 12. Uh, we started noticing that Jonah had some unusual symptoms. He was very thirsty and in the bathroom a lot. He would get up at night and go to the bathroom. Actually, initially, I thought maybe he was up to trouble, that he was doing something he shouldn't be doing in there, that he was sneaking his iPod in or something like that because it was so strange. Uh, we went out to dinner, I remember seeing him extremely thirsty, and then I let him go on a weekend retreat with the youth group, and when I picked him up, I asked him how it went, and he said it was great, but they really didn't have a lot of water, and I thought that was a very unusual response for a 12-year-old, and so that told me that something was up, and I watched my sister-in-law get diabetes diagnosed with diabetes, type 1 diabetes, when she was 20, and I was dating my husband, so I connected the dots and thought that he might have diabetes. But of course, um, both myself and my husband, we thought maybe I was overreacting and that it probably wasn't anything like that. Um, so at a family dinner the next day, I asked my sister-in-law Mandy to test his blood sugar, and sure enough, it was in the 500s, and... Uh, the look on her face, I'll never forget it, and pretty soon we found ourselves uh, rushing to Children's Hospital, and I had the feeling as I was going there that something was happening that day, and my life would never be the same. I remember that I was shaking a little bit, I guess just with nervousness, kind of like an uncontrollable shaking and I was trying to make my voice seem as normal and as confident as possible to my son Jonah, who was definitely old enough to see that something wasn't right. But I was definitely very, very nervous. When we got there, I remember that nothing was really sinking in that they were telling me. I kept on waiting for someone to say for sure he did have diabetes until finally... I think it was about 2.30 in the morning we got admitted and the endocrinologist saw us for the first time and said that he had type 1 diabetes. Um, it was a very difficult place for me to be in because I was with him and I couldn't really cry, um, ask questions. I did ask as many questions as I could, but I tried to remain so positive in the time that I was with him that I wasn't really giving myself the time to have a personal reaction to the news. That happened later. I felt like I delayed it. I pushed it aside and I did what I needed to do. I said everything's great. This is going to be fine. I'm so glad that it was diabetes and not anything that would be worse. But inside I was completely overwhelmed. I was just over the top trying to learn what I had to do. I felt like it happened to me just as much as it happened to him because now I was in charge of all his nutrition, all his medications. Um, I definitely was thankful that it was diabetes. It was something that could be controlled. But when people continued to tell me that, Oh, I'm so glad it's just diabetes, you know, you know, it's something they have medicine for. I felt inside that they had no idea what I was really going through. And it was a lonely place to be. Even my husband seemed fine. He just, he said, this is going to be fine and we can do this. And he went along 
doing what he needed to do at work and at home, and he supported me the best he could. But I was definitely overwhelmed. And I think I did the best I could in that situation. I prayed a lot. I took it to the Lord a lot, but I still had to go through a, a time um, just feeling that loss of control. And my prayer is now, since that time, now that we're a few months in, we're four months in, we're doing great, everything seems so much more normal, it's a part of our family, um, I pray now that God would help me to shorten the time between when something happens to our family or to me personally and when I actually hand it over and trust him with it. Um, and I'm just trying to practice that with the little things that when something comes up that I wasn't anticipating that I um, just my automatic response is a little bit closer to the way that God wants me to be in trusting Him, in coming to Him, and laying my burdens down at His feet. I hope that you have a wonderful meeting and that what I've said helped you in some way. And like I said, I, was, I wish I could be with you this morning. And hopefully I'll see you all sometime soon. Bye-bye.